Hey everyone, welcome back for another live JSA TV interview here at DCD Virginia in Leesburg, where of course we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations all about digital infrastructure and data center specifically today. So we have a repeat guest. Thank you for coming back. Thanks, Candace. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we've got Bill Severn here, uh, CEO and president of 1623 Farnham and longtime data center industry uh, just wealth of information, I would say. So we always mm, thank <laughs> we, you. Yes, we always enjoy having you on JSA TV to hear the latest about what's going on in your neck of the woods. Appreciate so, that. Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, you were actually on a panel here at DCD Virginia um, at eleven fifteen, right? That's so right. That's right. Yep. Pretty right after this. So yep. it is called "How Much Is Too Much Generative AI." So that should be a good one. Um, so can you start off by telling us a little bit about sixteen twenty three Farnham's role in AI edge inference nodes? Yeah, it's a really great question. If I think about AI and what we're talking about there, I in my world, I look at AI as content. And the content is really no different than consumers consuming Microsoft 365, or if they're watching a Netflix show, or Thursday night NFL football on Amazon. It's content. They're consuming it. So content at the edge meets eyeballs. And with Farnham, we're 40 plus broadband providers in the building, 60 plus carriers. So we're the perfect spot for AI content to reach the edge. Now, the second part of that is in the media, all you hear is training AI and inference AI, right? Because that's the sexy buzzword because we're buying 50 or 100 megawatts at a time and someone's selling that much. Yeah. So that's an easy story. What we really don't hear about is the network component. And as an interconnection facility, we're the network component that delivers all that content, whether it be training or inference to the eyeballs and the consumers. Amazing. I love that. Yeah. You, you explained it in a way that even I can understand. So thank you. <laughs> um, and so we are also, of course, at DCD Virginia talking a lot about hyperscaler demands. Um, yeah. That's one of the one of the big topics um, and how that's reshaping metro architectures. Um, yeah. So how is that showing up in the form of fiber upgrades, interconnection strategies and new connectivity routes for you all? Yeah, really good question. And 2025 has been an incredible year. We're seeing a, a number of Metro fiber routes being built, new middle mile routes being built, and long haul routes, both northwest or north, south, east, and west. And in just 2025 alone at Farnham, we've added over 5,000 new fibers into the building wow. on these new routes with more to come. And it just doesn't stop with the new fiber routes outside of the building. AI is driving a lot of connectivity in the building. And in 2025, we've added 5,000 new fibers from the Meet Me Room to client cabinets and cages. So it's here. Amazing. Yeah. 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 That's, a, that's some incredible numbers. Yeah. Um, so, okay, last but not least, we always like to look ahead a little bit as a last question with <laughs> our clients um, or with our uh, guests on JSA TV. So how have client engagements changed for you this year? And how do you anticipate that further changing maybe next year? Yeah. So I'm really good at forecasts. Uh, a year ago, I sat here and said 1623 Farnham is 18 months out from any AI in the building. And 2025 was the year of AI engagement. Right. And we have a number of AI clients in the building today. So I really missed that one. <laughs> uh, well, it's your chance. It, you it's know, you know, your chance yes, to make yes. up for it now. If I think about, uh, we talked about AI being content. I think that 2026 is really driving the peering aspect of AI and trying to get the content into or closer to the edge so that it's, you know, as latency specific applications in AI become available, they need to be closer to the edge. Right. Perfect. Yep. I All love right. it. I mean, right. And you kept it simple. So we'll <laughs> we'll check in again next uh, DCD Virginia and see, Sounds great. see see about that and see your 2027 uh, goals and uh, predictions. So uh, keep keep tuned here, you all, for uh, more predictions, more interviews, and more uh, trends for the digital infrastructure industry. Thank you, Bill, for joining us. Candace, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you to all of our viewers for hanging out with us for another live interview. Happy networking, everyone. We'll see you soon.